a billboard revelation. Thank you, Lord. Have you ever driven past a patch of bush for years, uh, just bush and dirt, and then one day you passed there going to work or going to wherever you were going, and there were some workers out there in their hard hats, and they're in the bush, and they got these little spikes in the ground and these little measuring things looking through them, and, and you're wondering, what are they doing over there? And then you pass there again a few days later, and there are some bulldozers there that's clearing out the bush. And they're, they're sort of, you know, they're just clearing it out. Then a few weeks later, nothing happens. And then all of a sudden, one weekend you're passing there, and there's a great big billboard on the property. And the billboard has a picture of like maybe a 10-story building painted, finished, with landscape and cars and parking lot and with little people standing underneath in the shade. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? And then written across the top of the billboard are the words, coming soon. At the bottom of it, you see the words, now renting, called 223-8761 or what, whatever the number is. I mean, they say you can rent now. Come on, talk to me. It's awesome. And then you pass there uh, a few weeks later and there's a finished building. They said the end first. Then they backed up and they started it. And so you pull up alongside them a few weeks and after they're into it and you see the men down there deep and in, in knee deep in mud and, and all the dirt and, and mud all over them and, and they're putting these big old steel spikes in the ground. Tractors are working and dust is flying everywhere and you pull up and you say, man, what are y'all doing? And the guy points at the billboard and he says, we're going right there. We're going toward that picture there. I said, I said, yeah, but wh wh what are you doing? What you doing? What's the relationship to? He says, well, we're following a plan, man. And the plan is going to get us to our destination. People might not understand what you are doing right now. But when they ask you what you're doing, point to the billboard. Say, that's where I'm going right there. We're following a plan. And our plan is going to get us to our destination. And, but then you, 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 you keep talking to the people. And that ain't, might, some of the men might be soldering wires and, 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 and welding steel. And, and you ask him, man, what, what exactly are you doing? Man, the dude say, I don't know. They tell me to weld this to that and that's to this, and this to that. And, and, and you say, but I don't understand. Man, I don't know. But they said, well, this to that, and this to this, and that to that, and that's what I'm doing. All I know is the well, this to that, and this to that. Now, some of you in the kingdom of God, and all God has said for you to do is well, this to that, and that to that, and this to that. Well, don't worry about it. Someone asks you, what are you doing? Just say, somehow we're going to that picture there. But I just am supposed to wear this to that and this to that and that to that. See, in the ministry, I don't know that much about all the ministry. I'm just supposed to drive the bus. That's all. I'm supposed to wear this to that and this to that. Purpose coming into view. Vision is a glimpse of your destination. Eyes that look are common, but eyes that see are rare. God is looking for people in this hour who don't just look. Where purpose is not known, you're going to abuse your time. I want to close with Joel 2.28. What I'm about to say is going to disturb some of your theology of little bit, but just hang on in there. We're, we're going home in just a minute, okay? Let me read this, uh, Joel 2, 28. Joel saw something that hadn't happened yet. Joel says, and it will come about after this, that I will pour out my spirit on all mankind or all flesh. 
He says, old men will dream dreams. Now, let me suggest to you the Holy Spirit comes and baptizes us. Let me try and communicate this. God does nothing without a purpose, and everything in life has a purpose. There's a purpose for the Holy Spirit, and there's a purpose for His baptism. If you don't know the purpose of a thing, you will abuse it. So the question is, what is the purpose for the baptism of the Holy Spirit? Now, purpose is found in the mind of the one who made it, and he told us why the baptism was going to be given. Here's what he says. He says, when you are baptized with the Holy Spirit, one thing is old men are going to start dreaming. Now, let me suggest to you that old men dream dreams because they are too old to become visionaries. Let me explain what I mean. A dream. A dream is what should be. A dream is what you would like to see happen. So when an old man gets filled with the Holy Ghost, he begins to see dreams. He dreams about what could be, but now he's too old to do it. So it's a dream. What should be, what could be. But it says young men shall see visions. So when a young man is baptized in the Holy Ghost, he doesn't dream. A vision is what is going to be. Listen, a vision is what is going to be. The old man says, I wish it could be. The young man say, let's do it. Dreams say, if only that can happen. A vision says, watch it happen. I'm going to make it happen. Purpose vision, vision, purpose. The purpose of the baptism of the Holy Spirit, listen, is not to have chill bumps, is not to have a good feeling. The purpose of the Holy Ghost is not to have a good dance, even though that's okay, but that's not his purpose. He comes to give you dreams and visions and prophecy. If you get a good feeling, but can't see where you're going, you missed the purpose. The baptism should give you direction in life, purpose in life, vision in life. If you speak in other tongues and don't know why, you woke up this morning, you're sick. If you're full of the Holy Ghost and ain't got direction, you missed the purpose of the Holy Ghost. He comes in to make old men dream and what old men do with dreams is they take them and give them to younger men who make some inner visions. So I suggest to you that the purpose of the Holy Spirit is to give humanity vision again. The purpose of the Holy Ghost is to give you purpose again. When you come into God and receive the Holy Spirit, you have a reason for living again. Not to feel good, but you got a reason to wake up now. Glory. Every purpose has a season and every purpose has a time. If if listen, it is possible to miss your season. Some have attended to fulfill their purpose out of season. There's a time for everything and there is a timing for everything. And if you miss your timing, you could be premature or you could be too late. There is a time for every purpose under heaven. One of the things that is wrong with this generation is that most of us are preoccupied with the past season and have not changed their clothes. To everything there is a season and there is a new season right now. I'll tell you something, when the season changes, you can't do anything about it. Seasons have no respect. For your opinion. Winter doesn't care. Listen, winter don't care whether you like it or not. Winter don't care what you think. It's coming. Secondly, seasons never come by your invitation. They come when it's time. And when they come, you could argue or whatever, but it's coming. When change comes, don't get mad at it. Adjust to it. Change your clothes. Recognize yourself. See? 
There is a new season upon the world now. God has turned his face to people of the third world everywhere, including the third world people of America. And he's raising them up with no one's permission. So you'd better adjust to the season no matter what your opinion is. When winter comes, it doesn't care who it hits. Seasons have no respect for you. When it comes, it comes. We must never, therefore, sacrifice the present responsibility on the altar of past accomplishments, and we must never allow our seasons to pass without fulfilling our purpose for that season. Preoccupation of the past is irresponsibility. Don't miss the purpose of why you are here. Don't take your life into a direction where you think people would like for it to go. Make sure that God leads you in spite of who comes against you. God wants to raise you up to do mighty things, but you have to decide whether you are going to be comfortable or committed, whether you are going to grow or groan, <laughs> whether you want to be propped up or straightened up. When the season comes, a strange thing happens. When winter comes, the birds cooperate, they fly south. When winter comes, they leave, the, the leaves cooperate, they fall off. <laughs> when winter comes, the bears cooperate, they find a cave. Have you ever noticed everything cooperates with the season that means when it's your season brother that means when it's your season, sister, those that didn't like you will support you. When it's your season, everything that was against you will start working for you. Not because you sweet talk them or kiss their feet. No, 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 no. Not because you compromise. No, 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 no. They do it because it's time. When it was time to leave Egypt, Moses didn't have to beg Pharaoh for nothing. It was season uh, to leave. When it's your time, don't worry about provision. Because every vision has a pro in front of it. You must understand God pros all of his visions. So if your vision is from God, he'll protect, he'll provide the pro. Every generation is responsible for its own purpose and must fulfill its reason for being in this season. Don't sacrifice your vision for a dream. Don't sacrifice your vision for a dream. Back in our high school days, everyone was talking about the dream, the dream, the dream. Martin Luther King had a dream and he was a great man, but you got to wake up to make a dream come true. The brothers used to say the dream's alive. No, no, no. Let's wake up and make it a vision. Martin Luther King was a great man. He did his part in history, but he is dead now. Now history is looking at you. Do you hear what history is saying to you? Young men will see visions. Old men will dream dreams. May God bless you. In Jesus' name.